Hey guys, what's up? This is Frank from Chef Sports and Collectibles, and today I am going to be sharing with you my favorite coin in my entire collection. I have thousands of coins in my collection, um, but this one, without a doubt, is my favorite. This is a 1909 VDB penny. Um, VDB it was the initials of the person that... Uh, made the design for the coin um there's just some other markings on this like the dns that do not sell not selling this but i wanted to make it pretty obvious um i was gonna try and get this the vdb on camera um you may be able to see it like right there depends on how the light works if you can't see it i'll try and get a picture but through this it's not super easy and i don't want to take it out for obvious reasons um, it may not be in insane condition or anything crazy in terms of value, but I found this coin, um, searching through, you know, the, that giant bag of pennies, or if you watched the, the video with all the Wheatback pennies, this was in with all of those before I sorted them. Um, I found it a long time ago with, uh, with my father and it's, it's my favorite coin. You may be able to see the, the ridges of the VDB. Just trying to get that light. But um, it is a VDB coin. Not lying about that. Looks really... You can see it in person better than probably anything else. It's just it's so faint. Um, it wasn't noticed even that the initials were on there for a long time after the coin was minted. Long time maybe a few months, month, I don't really know. But after um, they realized they took the VDB off of the coin and then minted the rest of the 1909 pennies, Wheatback pennies without the VDB, making this a much rarer coin than just a normal 1909 Wheatback penny. Um, no, obviously has my initials, my dad, because we found it. Um, it's my favorite coin for for many reasons and uh th this is the fav my favorite coin out of the thousands that i have in my collection so i hope you enjoyed this video um check out the other ones in this series and uh i will see you in the next one